hair dyed bright red and wearing a red shirt. In her 60s, blue shirt, big gut, and talking on a cell phone in his 40s or 50s. Arrived at Walmart Saturday at about 2 o'clock. Police want to question them both. Uh, so they were together at the beginning and together at the end, but to the best of our knowledge, not together any other time. Investigators do know the man wandered around and finally made his way to this aisle where he went to work. We actually watched him on video stack these boxes up in such a fashion that he would be able to take this child there and she would be kind of out of sight. That's where the man took the little girl, telling her he was a security guard, that he saw her stealing something and that she needed to be searched. When the bad guy told her to remove her clothes, she said, no, I'm not doing it. I want my mommy. You leave me alone. The man took her away when some customers came by but brought her back and asked her sexually explicit questions before walking away. That's when he left the store, and so did the red-haired woman. They drove off in a light-colored Chevy Tahoe, an early 2000 model. Lieutenant Chandler, more than anything, wants to know where they went. I want to go to this man's house. That's what I want. Uh, that, that, that's where we hope to go, is find him and prevent this from happening to someone else. This child's lucky. You know, I, I don't believe in luck. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say she's lucky. I'm going to say she was smart. She was brave. She had been taught well by her parents and she made the right decision.